Good evening. I have been thinking more about time and I wanted to share some of my thoughts with you and I'll show you why one reason I've been thinking about time. If I can get my camera. These guys, their time has come. <laughs> They've lived their lives. Tomorrow's the day. It's coming up on Thanksgiving. We're coming up on the end of the year. A lot of things have been different this year. It's the time of day. We're coming into a liminal time. A liminal time, liminal is just a point of change. Uh, an opportunity, a potential for something new or different to happen. It's a time of reflecting what's been and deciding what you want to be. Health comes from having integrity and balance. Balance between what you do and who you be. <laughs> and the integrity between your actions, what you do, and who you are. Good evening, Kirk. As defined by what you care about, what you value, what you believe. Integrity in those two things will help you to have health. At one point, I lost my health because I didn't have integrity with those two things. I valued health and taking care of yourself and rest and all these things, but I wasn't living that out. I was too busy taking care of other people to take care of myself, and so I got sick. So health is having an integrity between doing and being. I thought about this in conjunction with Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving this year is going to be very different for a lot of us. Um, we have to think about who are we going to get together with? Where are we going to get together? How are we going to do this? Um, there's a lot of things going on outside our world that we can control. Deciding what are we going to do about what we can control? There's a lot of these things going on. Um, a lot of decisions, a lot of potential for guiding your course. Are you just going to see what happens? 2020 has been a crazy year for that. Or are you going to make conscious and intentional decisions about how you go forward? And finding that integrity between what you have to do and who you want to be and what's important to you. There's a really simple process for doing this. Set, get paper and pencil, set the timer on your phone for 15 minutes. Sit down and make a list of what you care about. And you can make it specific to a situation. So you might make it specific to your family in the holiday or just your family. Or you might make it in general, in your whole life. What do you care about? What do you value? I'm a person who values da da da. And what do you believe about either the topic or about life and your life in general? Then take a look at these things and think, how does that affect my decision making? How can I make decisions so that I behave in ways that reflect what I value, care about, and believe? Sometimes it's really eye-opening to realize, oh, when I look at the choices I'm making, they don't reflect those things. Well, maybe you don't believe what you think you believe, or your actions need to adjust so that you can be in integrity. I want to invite you to make time for this this week, and I want to invite you to make time to do that in a group. Um, there's a really powerful thing around scheduling time to do things. I know for me, if I know that I'm going to sit down with a group online and do it, I'll sit down and do it. <laughs> if I have to sit there and do it myself, I'm probably going to find other things to do, even though it's a really important thing to do. It's just kind of how it is. So if you are interested in an online talking through this process, walking through it, there's also a lot of power in listening to what other people think, what other people are struggling with and experiencing, the solutions that other people are finding. 
We have this in my Abundant Living course all the time. It's the value of a group. That's, we're meant to be in groups. Like these turkeys wandering around out here. One of them for you, Shelly. They like to be in a group. All of our animals, they be together because they get a lot from that companionship, from seeing what other turkeys are doing. They find food together. They find shelter together. It's how we're put together. So, if you are interested in walking through this process, learning more about being intentional, about how you bring integrity into who you are, who you're becoming. Maybe you want to change up some things. Um, part of being in a point of change is having the potential to say, well, I used to do that and it worked for a while. It's not working now. I need to do this new thing and getting to that point. That's also the power of the group and walking through a process together. So message me and I will send you the link to that. Um, let me know too. I think it's going to be next Tuesday after Thanksgiving because this week with Thanksgiving and just all the stuff, it's busy. So next Tuesday, 7 p.m., just message me if you want to join us and do that process and just take a bit of thought about what has been and what you want to be and how you can be healthy going out into 2021 taking care of your time and your energy and all your resources. So I hope you have a fabulous Sunday and a happy Thanksgiving. And I look forward to talking to you next Tuesday.